Hello and welcome to Fridays with Brandon. Today what we're going to go over are five secret tips for, or five secret features for the 87.5 and the 87.5 Max as we go through them. Obviously these features, much like my 179 video, they're not really secret if you're willing to read the user manual, but nobody's willing to do that, so I'm making this video. So, we're going to jump right into it and go through these features, hopefully explain a little bit about what these features are and why you might use them. So the first feature on both of them is called P off or power off. So if you hold the function key down and turn it on, it will say P off on either one of them. And what that means is power off, meaning it's not going to time out after 10 or 15 minutes. I forget how long it is exactly, but after a certain period of time, it just won't time out. It's gonna keep running. Eventually the battery will go dead on you. Uh, Fluke has an auto time off just so that it does preserve your battery if you're not sitting there. The P off would automatically be engaged if you're already in a min max mode, but if you wanted to leave it in P off mode or power off mode, that's how you're gonna get that. The next feature is going to be something that may or may not. Um, hopefully none of you care about this because if you know about this, or if you need this, you probably already know about it, but this would be in the calibration mode. You hit min max, it'll say cal on there. Again, same thing here. That's if you're a calibration lab, but I'm guessing if you're watching this YouTube video, you're not a calibration lab. Next is going to be something called a smoothing feature, and we're gonna hold down the range button and turn it on, and it's gonna say S with a bunch of dash lines after this. Um, same over here. Basically what that does is it smooths out, it reduces the refresh rate on the screen, so the screen doesn't refresh as often, meaning that it looks to your eyes that the numbers are changing more smoothly. Um, so it's just a user preference, but it really doesn't change your reading other than what you're seeing. Next is going to be the auto hold button. And this is to check all your LCDs uh, on your screen and make sure all of those are lighting up correctly. Okay, so if you were to see that like, man, I just never see an eight anymore. I just keep seeing nines. Well, maybe you're, one of these are off and you can check and see if any of your LCDs are going bad on your screen. You can do the same thing with this one. If I remember which one it was, auto hold. And again, you see all those different LCDs let up, you let it go and you're back to normal mode. Okay, the next feature is one that is not on the 87, but it is on the 87.5 Max. If you hold the light button down and turn it on, it'll say L off, it stands for light off. Now it doesn't mean the light will turn on for you, but it means if you turn on the backlit screen, you can see that, you get that backlit screen turned on, it is gonna stay on, it's not gonna time out after two minutes. You don't have this feature with the 87.5, but you do have it with the 87.5 Max, at least according to the data sheet, and when I do this, it does not give me an L off, so I assume that you don't have that as a feature. Okay, and next is gonna be holding down the continuity button, and this is gonna say beep, and what you get with that is the beeper will no longer beep. If you're in continuity mode or any other mode, if you're doing min max, it's not going to beep on you. It's just going to be silent all the time, which some customers want that. Or if you want to sneak up on somebody and measure continuity, you can do it that way as well. Next feature is going to be something called um, the relative mode. Uh, and what happens is this is going to give you in, it enables zoom mode on these. So you hold this down, turn it on, it's going to say, uh, it's supposed to say rail or two rail, I guess. And so if I hold this down, turn it on, you see this, it's on. Now, if I don't have it on, I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to measure voltage and you're going to look at this bar graph here at the bottom. Measure 120 volts. You see 120 volts goes into this scale and you see it kind of go up to here. Now, if I hit rail now, it still stays over here. Even the bar graph stays over here. It's at the same size, even though it says zero here. And when I unplug it, the bar graph goes away and the reading goes negative because of the rail was pushed. Now, if I do that with the um, zoomed graph on, I'll do it again, measure 120 volts. 
and then I hit this rail button, notice now it says zero is in the middle here. And if I disconnect my test leads, not only do I go negative, but I also get a negative bar graph. So that's what the um, holding down the relative button, relative diff, uh, delta button down will do. It'll get, enable the zooming mode in your bar graph. The last and final feature is going to be a high impedance mode. So if we hold this down, turn this on, we get high impedance and it says this would be high impedance with millivolt DC function used. So you think about you're in a, uh, inside a circuit board and you don't want to create an additional load. You want that high impedance so the meter's not seen. That's when you would use this. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. That was a lot of features quickly, but I hope these features are beneficial for you guys and it helps you use your 87.5 and 87.5 Max better in the field. Leave any questions and comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to hear what's new and latest and what's on my mind in the fluke world. Thanks and have a great weekend.